Good afternoon from New York. Today's subject Finding Timeless Heaven. Dramatic Self, your dramatic self, talking to your brain. Real vision and effective activism. First of all, People with real vision, uh, they talk about uh, going up high, seeing things down below. And, uh, you know, having a broader vision. The great mystic uh, Dr. Martin Luther King went up a mountain. He had, a, he had a vision. This is a symbolic kind of way of saying that you're getting above the drama. And uh, your brain, vision or of all you imagine, can imagine itself above the drama. And uh, it's from above the drama that we have deeper understanding, greater compassion, and more artfulness in our view. And uh, this inspires a vision uh, of helping the love of humanity. I have a dream, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Beautiful dream. And it's something for everybody else to shoot for. And uh, political activism, well, that was political activism. And uh, that is exactly, once you've gone to the mountain, once you've communicated to your personal higher power, is uh, the imaginer of all you imagine, your brain. Once you've talked to that higher self and uh, saw things from that perspective, how can you just sit around and do nothing to improve the world? You got to go back into the drama and make real change. Or you just went to the mountain and that's it. You didn't act on any of the vision that you saw, vision of more expansive love, understanding, and our Okay? So, don't say, don't say to me, I don't vote. That's the lowest level of political activism you can do in a democracy. Well, hmm? And you can do more than that. You can have a vision. In that vision, you can see greater understanding. Go beyond your comfort zone and see a greater understanding. Be a greater compassion. Be a greater heartfulness, flexibility, and perspectives and views so that you can reach more people, so that you can lift the world instead of letting it fall apart be ineffective in preserving our species. You know, it's these things which are at the root of our virtues comes from this simple communication of how you imagine yourself in your drama communicating with you imagine your higher power, the imaginer of all you imagine, that perspective outside of time, you perceive it, a kind of timelessness. In that timelessness, there is a bliss, there is a joy that lifts you. And uh, compare this to children's play. You have to call them in to dinner, 
sense of time. They're having a good time. That time transcendent. So don't uh, don't put down having a good time. Uh, listen to the music you love. Uh, speak love, truth. Uh, Artfulness, which we appreciate the beauty in all things. So we're looking in the inner mind communication to be uh, what we call mystic uh, empathism. Even that's a word, empathism. That's an active. That's activist. Acting on empathy, greater empathy. And uh, when you're communicating within your mind, in your imagination, your inner nation, your inner self, you're communicating with that which is the source, the empathies that are the source, your virtues. Passionate empathy, goodness, creative empathy, heartfulness. And, and uh, objective empathy. That truth. So seek for a greater truth, greater goodness, and, and greater artfulness in your life. And so, in so doing, in those practice communications within your mind, and uh, also by getting in touch with that part of you that is flexible that uh, you had as an infant, where there is no, there is no subject and object, there is no rigid self-concept. Embrace that as well. Because that allows you to change each level. So, do this. Go to the top of your mountain. Be the most artful person you can be. Love the timeline and realize from that perspective, everything can be appreciated. Like watching a movie, reading a book. The one thing that you have to do from that mountaintop is to see that chance and an opportunity for expanding comfort zone with greater goodness and our That means you have to have soul of an active. You can't just care about yourself. You've got to care about other people. Those things feed off of each other. You can't hate yourself and then love others. You can't hate others and then love yourself. And uh, you say, well, I, I have to hate, hate the bad. Well, bad people are just people with damaged faith and love. And they're acting out in symbolic kind of ways. And those symbolic ways, love of symbolic need instead of real needs, Jesus put it, the love of money. That will certainly uh, be a source of great evil. Because it's not real. It's not part of the love flow. Get real. Love better. Love higher. Grace more. Be an activist. And for heaven's sakes, at least vote. I like to say at the end of my uh, presentations, uh, the word namaste, because it, uh, which I'm going to say a final namaste at the end there, um, means that beautiful perspective that I've been trying to describe, this, this amazing uh, connection of yourself 
the other person that you're talking, you know, you're using this greeting for, are all part. You're both part. You're all part. It's a group. You're all part of this universe. You're all connected. Connected in ways that are amazing. You're connected, and you're not, you know, seeing things as a yeah, as a subject of viewing other. There is no other. There is no subject looking out and seeing things. It's just your brain. And uh, that idea comes from uh, having a rigid self-concept. You can't change and grow. Talked about that healing process before. In brief, let me say, potential in you is honored by the word namaste. And it recognizes the potential um, in the person saying that. And uh, that great honoring um, is a reminder that we can grow love flow. Grace is greater virtue, is true transcendent vision, better world, you and everybody else. So, And like I always love to do, love to uh, sing an Irish blessing. Uh, it's kind of like poetic uh, gift that I like to give. It's not not a great singer, but uh, it's a beautiful blessing. Do it to me. Uh, it goes like this. May the road ride meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. Rain fall soft on your field. And until we meet again, may God hold you. In the palm of his hand. Harbor in. Namaste. Make a great day. Namaste.